so you got these thingies on yeah not on the knuckles though on the yeah on the flat part to get oh. to get air in all right welcome back to another episode of bros of rides today i've got a motorcycle glove review kami moto the same people who sent me not these bar and mirrors i, I bought those ones myself but uh they were the ones who sent me the other uh, teardrop style uh, mirrors that I put on and subsequently uh, crash tested. So they, they liked that review so much they decided to send me a pair of their motorcycle gloves. So as you can see, I have not opened them yet. I've been holding on these for unfortunately about a month now uh, due to various things, getting the bike back, getting it reworked, going on vacation for a little bit. But finally, here we are. Now, let's rip into them. As you can see, the packaging is pretty nice. It is supposed to be cell phone touch sensitive. I'm gonna test that out. Uh, they are apparently 3D cutted. That's kind of cool. Breathable material, you know, pretty standard. Uh, got a nice knuckle protector on there. So, let's rip into it. Oh man, I thought I had to actually rip into it. I didn't know it was a zipper resealable bag man I would have opened them and pulled them out a long time ago this is literally the first time I'm pulling them out because I didn't pay attention so here they are wow wow these look impressive I mean just off the kit let's, let's put the one down real quick got some uh, uh, slipstream uh, wings fins there I don't, I don't know what exactly to call it you know right there on your main knuckle so when you're cruising down Maybe that might make a slightly bit aerodynamic. I don't think it matters too much, really, based on motorcycle not really being the most aerodynamic, but it looks tough, I'll tell you that much. Uh, I do like the finger uh, breathable vents here. These are really cool. And also interesting that they didn't put any on the pinky finger right here, uh, any of the air vents does seem to have a lot of um, bend for breathability I think that's really cool it's something that these don't have uh, but these seem to be a little bit thinner than uh, the Kemimoto's I really like that the outside feels a lot thicker but also it's still pretty lightweight uh, the inside it's got a few different materials it looks like I'm not the I'm not a materials expert but it's either I think leather maybe or a synthetic leather there's some perforations under the fingers. I like that a lot. You can see where they go all the way through to the finger. But but it's behind one thin piece of material in there. So it doesn't actually go all the way all the way through the finger, I don't believe. I'll find out here shortly when I put them on. I like that a lot. One thing that these don't have, which I really like seeing, is these pads right here. That's really nice. Little, these are kind of foamy and a little squishy right here. And it's like extra thick for, for extra protection. Uh, the, the straps, this is kind of interesting. Fits my left hand, opens up this way, but the Kemi's opens up this way. So that might take a little bit of getting used to. My old ones, they are large as you can probably see right here. So we got a one for one sizing. It looks like the fingers are pretty spot on compared to the other one. Uh, and just the Kemi's are just a little bit longer, which I do kind of like a little bit. Uh, in some instances, I had a, a pair of icons originally and those fell apart within like two months. So I don't know the the model of the ones I had because I've they've been gone for a long time over a year now uh, but those just slap fell apart I, I vowed to never buy a pair of icon gloves ever again another thing I thought was kind of really cool is they've got this Kemimoto splash on the inside here as well and it's that rubberized kind of sticky feel stuff where like it just won't fall like <laughs> it's like it's that sticky well of course that's that's pretty that's pretty impressive. So let's go ahead and uh, try them on for the very first time. Initial slip on. It, the first time is always going to be the most awkward. Just 
just because it's not broken into your hand yet but I will say this feels so far really good um, the inside cuts of the fingers go all the way down to where they should be the tip of my fingers are exactly where they should be I do remember on my Cortex my old set that uh, I would have to for the first probably two weeks where I'd have to slip them down a little bit to get them to sit in place now I don't have that issue anymore with them because they're well broken in but initially I don't have that problem with the Kemi's with Kemi Motos so let's go ahead and continue fitting them on they've got a nice little pool tab right here I didn't really notice that before the old ones don't have that I like that a lot let's you get it pulled in I like that a lot that's a that's a great idea and as we slip it over uh, my watch I think it really covers the watch pretty well a lot of people don't ride with watches so it's not really an issue like I said for me I daily ride I wear a watch at work uh, I need to be able to easily keep track of time so that's a must for me and it's it's fine I don't have an issue with it moving on to the knuckles a little bit a little bit tight in this area not bad at all though I mean I'm just talking smidge tight and maybe that's what you want so uh, I, I like it I can feel that there's a lot of protection there that I never even thought of having with these I like that idea a lot I don't know too many people when they fall in a like that I don't know that's a thing I, I think most people most manufacturers put them on there for an aesthetic reason to be honest it looks tough though I'll admit that yeah these these feel really nicely really really nicely I, I won't fully really know how well these are for probably another couple weeks but initially Initially, I'm, I'm really liking it. I'm getting pretty close to maybe taking these on a test ride. Uh, breathable material here, bendable, breathable material there. I can feel the breeze, and it's a light breeze, five, five, six miles per hour. I don't know what it is. I can feel the breeze already coming through my knuckles. Already feel it. That's incredible. So, to me, that tells me it works, especially for being in Florida. It's, it's hot, man. Let me tell you. How hot it is by testing out the eye touch. Let's see how well it works. Beautiful. Works perfect. Let's see. Weather. Yep. Takes a little to get used to. I'll, I'll mention that. Uh, but right now it says it's 86, but it feels like it's 93 degrees. I will say. I think there's maybe a little extra padding here on the finger that I'm not too fond of. There's a ridge here on the finger that I wouldn't mind potentially seeing go away. As a suggestion, if they could rework that on the next series. Otherwise, I think it's fine the way it is, to be honest, but just that make it that little bit next extra step, I think that'd be uh, the way to go. So. Uh, let me go ahead and zip up, get the helmet on, and let's go for a ride. Nothing more difficult or, or easier wearing these particular gloves. I, I, I don't have a single problem wearing these right now. I'm just breaking them in. It feel good though. Okay, here we go. Let's dust them out. Well, they do get a lot of airflow. That part feels really nice. I like that. Mentioned before, they are a little snug in the knuckles. Not necessarily a bad thing. Just worth pointing out. 
and I do feel like I'm still having the same personal issue with my pinkies being maybe just a smidge too sh short for uh They feel very good. I have no issues with them feeling like they're gonna save me. They feel like they will save me, save my hands, protect my hands. Um, I have no question about that. And I'll point out what happened to my, my last pair of gloves when I did that small little lay down, real, real, real light lay down thing that you probably have probably already seen. Uh, ended up, I think, only with like one hole on, on the thumb. Uh, other than that, th there wasn't much to it. A loose string there. Probably burn that thing off later. Ain't no big deal. I mean, you got loose strings everywhere, you know. <laughs> I'm really liking these gloves. I got a lot of breathability through them. I, I have no issue with that. But my hands are not hot right now at all. And uh, I do think they'll, they'll protect you pretty well. I keep coming back to I think these gloves are really nice I think they do their job very well and for the cost of these gloves I don't think you can go wrong I, I, honestly I think they're about the same price as my last pair I think they're roughly the same price as these and you can already see you don't get that nice hard protection on the other pair you don't get this extra thick leather on the other pair for the price what you get man I, I don't think you can go wrong with these guys now how long they're going to hold up I don't know I don't know I could mention my very first pair of of uh, of icons didn't last very long I mean those literally only last like two months they they were garbage Cortex are great so or the last pair were pretty great. I, I'm still wearing them after lay, laying down the bike a little bit, so. So I have to ask probably a stupid question. What's that? What's this for? A uh, knuckle protector. Oh. In case, you know, case of accident. <laughs> I it was like a flash and you could put stuff. <laughs> no. Nah. <laughs> that, that, that'd be kind of cool, too. <laughs> so you got these thingies on, yeah. not on the knuckles, though, on the... Yeah, on the flat part, to get, oh. to get air in. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it catches, catches air and drives it into the gloves. So you don't have sweaty hands? Yeah, yeah. And what about on the palm? No, nothing on the palm. No, but I've got perforations here on the fingers. I just got these gloves. Oh. This is the first time I've weared them today. Like, or ever. So, like, these are brand new. Yeah, that's, I guess, for um, the phone touch and stuff. This little ridge there kind of makes it a little difficult, but it works. It works. You know, well enough for doing, like, swiping and oh, okay. stuff like that. Okay. Like, uh, you know. I thought maybe they were, like, you know, regular gloves where you could take them off and you know. have, you know, fingerless. Okay. You know, so it allows you to... To do that at least okay. so it works pretty well i like it brand new I, I don't know too many people when they wreck that they're sliding with their hands down like this yeah. <laughs> so i think a lot of gloves have those i think it's a lot of uh just looking cool stuff but this here that's gonna that's gonna be nice because you're putting pressure if you're sliding uh -huh. so that right there would be nice 
So, hopefully I, I never have to test them out. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Oh. oh, no. All right, before we get going on too far, I'm gonna, I should say uh, I'm going to drive a few minutes in the rain first before I really try to start talking about how the gloves are doing. But I should say, put my hands directly onto wet handlebars, wet uh, wet grips. I'm fine. My, my hands didn't get soaked from underneath. So there's that, so I like that. So at least when you jump on your bike in the rain, your palms aren't gonna be wet. I mean, 45 miles per hour, no problem. My butt is getting wet though. Oh yeah, so this is a good spring right here. And I would say, uh, the gloves are starting to get a little bit soaked, to be expected, you know. They're not, you know, waterproof. But they are providing a great amount of grip right now in the rain. So I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video. If you guys liked what you saw, please click the link below to go purchase yourself a pair of these awesome gloves. Great, great company to work with so far. I really like working with them. Hopefully I can show you more products in the future in a more timely fashion. I do have some things coming up planned for this bike that I'm gonna be doing over this summer think you guys might like some of it you already know some of it you guys don't know but if you liked it uh please also like and if you haven't already please subscribe if you wouldn't mind go ahead and just throw a comment down below what you think of these go ahead and comment what gloves you guys are currently using uh because i'd be curious to see you know what different brands everyone's using that's it for now see you guys later oh yeah look at that bike oh yeah Woo.